As most of the UC campuses have returned this fall quarter for in-person classes, a pressing problem has come their way that deeply affected the student learning, the housing crisis. Some campuses even resorted to squeezing three to four students into a two-bedroom dorm. Students across California have witnessed this growing issue and fear the dreaded annual time when they must register for student housing and fight for the limited amount of spots left. At least at UC Davis, it's quite competitive to get off-campus housing. There's also like, there's location, there's price that you have to worry about, like if it's close enough to the school. Unfortunately, this issue has become so huge, some students even resort to seeking out staying in hotels for housing. And there's nothing, so I've heard stories about kids um, renting out rooms in Tijuana and crossing the border every day to come to uh, class, or renting out like RVs um, and just parking it at like a park or on campus somewhere. And although the UC campuses seem to be aware of their growing issue, the students believe that the UCs have made minimal effort to sustain their housing. I know that here they're trying to build a new dorm building, but it hasn't started the process of building it and it's a very controversial building. That controversial dorm is Munger Hall, UCSB's most recent housing plan. Basically this uh, hall and everyone would get a single, so you would get your own room, but there would be no windows, um, only one exit. The UC students share their advice to high school seniors and transfer students potentially thinking about attending the UC campuses. Definitely taking advantage of social media and connecting with them. Like junior year, you should definitely apply as early as possible. From Canyons News, I'm Faith Lee.